Hi, St. Joe's, Mrs. D here, and I'm going to read to you a story called Gilbert Goldfish Wants a Pet. The author is Kelly DiPuccio, and it's illustrated by Bob Shea. To an outsider, Gilbert had everything a goldfish could ever want. A magnificent stone castle, a treasure chest full of gold, and a feast of tasty flakes that fell from the sky just in time for breakfast each day. But the one thing that Gilbert did not have was the very thing that he most desperately wanted, a pet. Sometimes he imagined his pet would be small, Ooh, a ladybug. Sometimes big. The donkey's taking him for a walk. Sometimes really big. Sometimes Gilbert imagined his pet would have fur or feathers or floppy ears. But every day and always, Gilbert imagined what it would be like to have a pet to care for and love. Then, one day, Gilbert woke up to find a dog barking at him. Woof, woof, woof. Gilbert blinked his eyes to make sure he wasn't dreaming. The dog wagged his tail and licked the bowl. Gilbert swam around and around in happy circles. The dog ran around and around in happy circles too. A pet, Gilbert glubbed. I have a pet. The dog barked and barked and barked some more. Arf, arf, arf. Gilbert never dreamed his pet would be so noisy or so thirsty. A week passed. A very tired Gilbert woke up and the barky bark dog was gone. The castle was quiet again. Gilbert was just a teensy bit relieved. A few days later, Gilbert noticed a small gray mouse peering at him through the glass. Gilbert's little fishy heart went pitter-patter swish. The mouse licked her paws and sniffed the bowl. Gilbert swam around and around in happy circles. The mouse, who thought Gilbert was a large chunk of cheddar cheese, ran around and around in circles, too. A pet! Gilbert glubbed happily. I have a quiet pet! The mouse sniffed and sniffed and sniffed some more. When the hungry mouse was... When the hungry mouse determined that Gilbert was not, in fact, a block of cheese, she ran away. And she never came back. Gilbert's little fishy heart went pitter, patter, plop. More time passed and Gilbert had just about given up on his dream when a fly landed on the rim of his bowl. Well, hello there, little fellow, Gilbert called out cheerfully. The fly buzzed around in circles. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Gilbert jumped up at the wide-eyed fly was there to greet him in mid-air. A pet, Gilbert glubbed. I have a quiet, friendly smack. Oh, oh my, poor fly. 
and he cried enough tears to fill a 10 gallon aquarium. Sad Gilbert. In the morning, Gilbert opened his eyes. Somebody was watching him. Gilbert gulped. Somebody flicked its long tail and wiry whiskers. Oh, no. Gilbert cautiously swam around and around in circles. Somebody followed. Gilbert jumped. Somebody jumped, too. Hmm, Gilbert thought, eyeing the curious new creature before him. Not too loud, not too rude, and not too squished. A pet, Gilbert glubbed. I have the perfect pet. You look kind of hungry, Gilbert said. Would you like to join me for breakfast? The creature moved in closer and closer and closer. And then it took a big bite. <laughs> of a delicious green flake. Pink ones are really good, too, Gilbert said with a smile. Would you like me to show you around the castle? Here I thought it was a cat, and it's a catfish. Now, Gilbert really does have everything a goldfish could ever want, including a pet. Fluffy. The end. Thanks for listening, St. Joe's. We'll see you next time.